السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Uh, this is أحمد العجيلي and I'm teaching Mega Goal 5. Uh, we are still in Unit 4, the world of TV. So today, إن شاء الله, we are going to uh, finish this unit uh, by two activities, activity number 12 and activity number 13 on page 66 and on page 67. Okay. Uh, the first activity is project page. So we are going to make a project right now. And after that, we will have self-reflection. Uh, self re uh, we, we get a, a feedback from you about uh, how we uh, progressed in teaching this unit. Okay. Now, unit four, the world of TV, number 12 project. Now, we are planning to make a project. And a project about what? About what we have studied in this unit. Uh, like uh, the most important thing is uh, movies and novels, the genres of movies and uh, reading, listening, writing, and speaking. So these all skills, uh, we talked about how to make uh, a movie. So now we are going to make a practical project regarding this uh, uh, study or this uh, uh, these genres. So, in the in the project number one, when certain kids uh, when se when certain kids of films such as a, a documentary are being planned or designed, when we design uh, films, a storyboard like this one as you see here is created. We create a storyboard like this one. You have it has pictures and it has some. Uh, uh, specifications regarding that. Uh, storyboard includes what? Representative uh, representative scenes with, with notes, as we will see right now. Uh, comments, which is uh, going to be written uh, after a while. Uh, see the examples below. Let's see the example below, like this one, now in here. But before that, let's read number two. Think about the most, this is the, the, the project, uh, the main, the main uh, instruction about the project. Think about the most important events and times of a Muslim person's life. So we are going to think about a person. Okay, then we will choose him to make uh, a film about him. Now, that you can present in a documentary and make notes in the chart. So creating uh, a documentary is not that easy job. It, 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 it needs to be uh, undergo some uh, procedures, like what will happen right now. So if we choose the character, the person, uh, we will need to fill in this timetable about him. So his age and important events and uh, times in his life. Like what will happen here? This is the storyboard. And here, number uh, the age from 0 to 10. What happened in his life? What are the, the, the most important events in his life? From the age of 11 to 15, what happened to him? From the age 16 to 20, okay? Okay, from the age over 20, what happened for this character? Uh, we chose one character because he, he asked us here to write about a Muslim person's life. Nothing better than this person. Who? Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So he is, we are going to make a documentary about his life. Now, let's talk about uh, the, the, his life and what happened during these uh, years or these uh, uh, ages of, uh, or eras of his life. From zero to 10, what is the most imp important thing in his life? Just guess and think. Muhammad's father had died before he was born. Yes, when he was born, his father had died already. So this is a very important event. So he was an orphan. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Muhammad peace be upon him, was an orphan. So this is a very important event, the most important event uh, from 0 to 10. Also, we can add uh, the, 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 the death of his mother, Amina bint Wahab, uh, when he was six. But this is more important than that, I think, because this is the main idea. We can add sub uh, title to that. Okay. The second one, from 11 to 15, he was adopted by his uncle Abu Talib. When he got 15, his, fa his, uh, his uncle Abu Talib 
uh, adopted him and uh, he was responsible for him. From 16 to 20, what happened? He worked for Khadija, radiallahu anha, who later became his wife. Khadija became his wife, but before he, it uh, became his wife, he worked for her. He worked for her, okay? Over 20, which is the very important event, we can make it uh, end of uh, this documentary, it is he, peace be upon him, that's, uh, he refers to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi peace be upon him, was chosen by Allah to be the last prophet. At the age of 40, he started to be the prophet. Because he says over 20, that means more than 20. Okay, so th these are the most important events and times. Important events and times in his life. Then, number three, let's go to number three to see the instructions here. Use the storyboard framework below and write script commentary we, as we see we will see here in this page. Use the storyboard framework below. Write the, the script commentary of the documentary under comments. You see it here, comments, comment, and here comment. Uh, and what will happen, what will be happening in the scene under action. You see comment here and the action. Comment, then followed by action comments then it will be followed by action okay number five there is a very important instructions here if you want to make this storyboard use a large sheet of paper or cardboard he wants you to use a bigger one bigger sheet to create a realistic storyboard real storyboard about this important uh, character peace be upon him draw and or Use photos or parts of the photos and drawings for the scenes. Here he wants you to make some drawings or pictures in the big, board, in the big uh, paper. Transfer your script and action notes into a storyboard. You can write your notes by hand or word uh, process them. Or you can write them or type them. It's up to you. Use a font, uh, use a font that is easy to read. A font is, means the... Uh, the text, the writing, the writing text. Uh, please, uh, present your storyboard in the class. If you are in real class, when you finish this uh, storyboard, you need to present it to your class. But even if you are not in the class, you can uh, talk about it or explain it to your uh, family members or to your friends. OK, now let's start with the first comment. OK, the first comment, his life as an orphan, about this one. Okay, so this is the very important scene when he was an orphan uh, in the beginning of his life. Number two, the action. His mother had died before he arrived to see her. He was in the desert outside uh, Mecca al-Mukarrama. Then he came back. When he came back to Mecca, he, his, his, his mother had died. So this is very important action. And we can provide these scenes by a photo. Okay, this is a picture. Next one, uh, comment. The comment, the, other, the second event, his upbringing by his uncle. When his uncle Abu Talib upbrought him, what happened and what is the most important action that happened at this time? Yes, he traveled to the Levant to trade for Khadija, whom he married. What is Levant, Levant is Mantiqat al-Sham, the Sham area. So Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa peace be upon him, traveled to uh, Levant to trade for Khadija at this time when his uncle uh, was up brought, bringing him. So let's provide it with a picture, as you can see here. Okay, this is uh, a good picture for this uh, action or this comment. As you see, maybe this indicates, uh, let's say, uh, his uncle Abu Talib, or the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Okay, next one. He was asked to spread his message. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has chosen him to be uh, the messenger of Allah. So at, uh, at that time, of uh, when uh, over 20, he was asked to spread his message, and he is living a very good, a very big challenge with his people. So... What will happen next? Oh, how, how, what's the action? 
The action is the struggle with non-believers, the non-Muslims, when they didn't, they, 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 when they didn't believe him at that time, uh, he struggled, peace be upon him, with them. So that was uh, a very important action when he had uh, battles and fighting, fighting was with them. So let's provide this comment and action with a picture. Okay, you see here, this is a picture which indicates uh, a comment or an action of his life, peace be upon him. This is what we have chosen, uh, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. It's up to you or if you want to choose another character. It's up to you, uh, a Muslim character, as we asked, uh, as we were asked here. We go back. Okay, here he says, number two, think about the most important events and times of a Muslim person's life. You choose this uh, 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 person, maybe one of the Khulafa al-Rashidin or one of uh, even any Muslim, any Muslim, you, you, you will represent him or any person you want to, to, to make this uh, activity or this uh, project about them. So it's a very important project for you to be a writer later on. Okay, now self-reflection. It's a time for the self-reflection to check about uh, the impact the, uh, the, the result of studying the world of TV, Unit 4, because today is the last class for, the, for teaching this unit. So let's see if we could get all the benefits we needed or not. Now tell me, guys or girls, things that I liked about Unit 4. What are the things that you liked? And things that I didn't like very much about this unit, okay? Things that I found easy in Unit 4. What are the things that you found easy? Things that found difficult in Unit 4. Okay, so uh, I asked some of your colleagues and some of, uh, some of the students about what they liked and what they uh, didn't like. Uh, I got a feedback from them and they told me the main and maybe you cannot interact with me right now, but uh, we guessed about the most important things like things that I liked about this unit. One of the students said, I liked that it talks about movies and TV series. Yes, sorry, sorry this uh, TV should be capitalized because it's an, abbrevi an abbreviation. So the student says, I liked that it talks about movies and TV series. Most of the young, youngest, uh, younger uh, students now in your age like movies, so this is very, very important and very attractive for you to, uh, to get um, attracted to uh, Unit 4, the world of TV. The next one, okay, I like that it gave us an insight of the formula of films and why they are popular. The formula of films and how to create a film, like what we have done a while ago with Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, okay? So, the insight of formula of films. Formula means mu'adala, how to make, how a tarkib, the structure of uh, uh, the films. Okay. Next one. I learned some new vocabulary. This is very important. Yes, a very important thing. Vocabulary is very important in learning English in general. And things that I didn't like very much. One of your students said, the reading passages are too long, which is a, uh, maybe he's right. We agree with him. Reading passages, reading, are long. And as I told you, if you read very well, and if you understand reading, that means it will affect uh, a very important skill, which is writing. But you need to bear it, man. Next one. There are not many difficult words. Sorry, there are so many difficult words. Yeah, which is right. There are. Many difficult words, it uh, agrees with the student who read some new vocabulary. If they are difficult, that means you don't know them. So if, if you don't know them, that means you are learning new vocabulary. So this is very important. Next, the spaces to answer exercises are too narrow. One of the students said that, which is, uh, yes, I agree with him. The book sometimes uh, yeah, it doesn't give uh, enough space 
for answers. You, you notice the, the word is long and the space is shorter than the, what the, uh, the, the word uh, has, or what, is the, what the word is. Okay, let's go to the next one. Things that I found easy in unit four. Okay. Okay, I knew most of the, the movies that we were discussing, so it made it, made it easier to participate. This is what the, one of the students said, which is I agree with him. If you have seen a movie and you studied about this movie, you will be uh, motivated and attracted to it. So this is a very good point. The, the making of a project. Yes, we, uh, we made a project about one important uh, person and making this project uh, is one of the easy things. Okay, now we go. Only two things mentioned here. Things that I found difficult in Unit 4. What, what are the, th the difficult things, in your opinion? One of the, the students said, some grammar rules were hard to grasp. He thinks that grammar is difficult, but as I told you many times, grammar doesn't need to be studied like mathematics. No, grammar needs to be practiced. If you study a grammar and you understand it, as directly use it in sentences and practice it in writing practice it in uh, speaking also so it will you will get used to it next one the process of writing uh, uh, an expository essay what we, we talked about it yesterday to write an expository uh, essay which is description essay he thinks that it is difficult but it is uh, a must it is needed now Let's go to the last part, which is uh, unit four checklist. This is about you. I, do, I can do this very well. I can do this quite well, intermediate. I need to study and practice more. If you talk about TV films now and documents, can you do that? If yes, if you very much, if very good, you say you tick here or tick here or tick there. Identify genres of TV, different kinds of TV. Yes, maybe, yeah, any three levels. One, two, three. Can you agree or disagree with opinions? If you want to express uh, your opinion, if you agree with somebody or disagree, that is one important skill we have studied also. Using both and, not only, but also, either or, neither nor, this is in grammar. Can you do that? Can you, uh, do you think that you are able to practice this and to use it in your speaking and your writing. So if, if you can do it very well, here, little, here, none, here. Next one, use comp comp uh, comparative and superlative forms of adjectives to compare th things using adjectives. If you can use comparative and like say bigger than, smaller than, the, mo the, the important, more important, the most important, okay? Talk more about space and the planets. Uh, science fiction, if you want to talk about planets. Okay, last part, my five favorite uh, new words from unit four. I asked the student and they told me about, uh, I think, 10 words. Genres, yes, number one. Wit, genres means type of movies. Wit means uh, a type of uh, good writing or speaking even. Graph means one of the uh, uh, adjectives we can describe, like what we studied in the detective story, when the detective uh, talked about, when we talked about the, the detective, sometimes he's a hero, sometimes he's a graph, okay? Uh, cold blooded, cold blooded is one of the adjectives we described the, uh, the what's his name? Uh, the, the, uh, the uncle of uh, Simba, you, you remember the toy story, or oh, sorry, the Lion King. Uh, delusion, yes, delusion. He's, uh, when, uh, when Mr. Uh, John Nash had a delusion, the genius uh, mathematician. Uh, idiosyncratic, we had this word also in uh, the Lion King, when, sorry, not the Lion King, in the, uh, when we described the toys, of, uh, uh, I forget the, the title, anyhow. Uh, insulation, insulation means uh, to cover something with something else. When we talked about open plan offices. 
and lastly renovate renovate is a verb to renew something or to make it new okay now next time we are going to start unit five do you really need it in number one listen and discuss thank you very much and see you goodbye